Now that we've created a wave bank and a sound bank, we're going to add waves and sounds to them so our game will have some audio to play. The first step is to add waves to our wave bank. You've probably worked with, or at least have heard, wave files before. They have a wave extension .wav and are raw audio data. These files are at the heart of every exact project. A wave file usually represents a single subject, maybe the sound of a gunshot, car tires screeching, or the splash of water. For our game, we have two wave files. One is the sound of a missile being fired. The other is the sound of an explosion. The first thing to do is put these wave files in our wave bank. Look in the working window on the right of the exact window. Look for the wave banks window. Right click inside the wave banks window and choose insert wave files. You'll be shown a dialog box where you can go find the wave files you want to add. Browse to your project folder where you've been working on your game and then go into the content audio waves folder. Inside that folder you'll find the two wave files you need. Hold control to select multiple, then click once on each wave file. Click Open. You'll see in the wave bank window that there are now two entries in bright red. These correspond to the wave files you've added. The red color means they're not linked to any sounds. In Exact, a sound is an object that plays one or more waves. Sounds are stored in sound banks. In addition to sounds, a sound bank also stores cues. A cue plays one or more sounds and are the objects that are exposed to the programmer through the XNA framework. We're going to create sounds and cues for these waves so we can play them in our game. Take a look at the sound bank window. It's split into four parts. The bottom left part of the sound bank window is reserved for cues. We're going to use a shortcut in Exact and create cues and sounds for our waves at the same time. Click in the wave bank window, hold control to select multiple, and click once on each wave. Now, drag the two waves into the lower left corner of the sound bank window where the cue list is and release. Exact creates cues for your waves and by extension automatically creates sounds. Remember, a cue plays a sound, a sound plays a wave. You need all three and now we have all three. Click the disk icon to save the project. Great, we've created an exact project, loaded up some waves, made the necessary sounds and cues, and saved it. Next, we'll load it into our game. Go ahead and close exact and return to XNA Game Studio. For more information about what waves, sounds, and cues are, and how they interact with the XNA framework, click more details for this step. Otherwise, Head to the next step.